Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1203. I'm your host and narrator, Greg Audino. And for those who don't know, outside of ORD, I do a lot of writing about personal development, psychology, and relationship building, not to mention some life coaching as well. So I do try to bring all of these together in the Q&A episodes when I help you guys out with your personal questions about the relationships you have with others or the relationships you have with yourselves, of course. And with that being said, we have another listener question on tap today that I'm so excited to share with you. So let's hear what he has to say, see if we can help out, and optimize your life. I recently bought a membership to my local gym, and yet I've only gone once. I guess I'm having anxiety about working out in front of others because of being as big as I am, paired with not having any actual workout plans. I really don't want to look stupid in front of any cute girls. Not that I'd have the courage to say hi anyway, lol. <laughs> uh, I always love when people type lol. It makes me lol. Uh, hi, Asker. Thank you for sending this question in. I appreciate you opening up and trusting us to give you some help. Now, uh, for reference, everyone, the person who sent this question in mentioned being new to the OLD network in his initial email. So first of all, welcome. It is great to have you here and... I hope the shows are helpful and enjoyable for you. And second, uh, I want to tell you that what I do often with the Q&As is take kind of an outside-inside approach, offering some suggestions as to how you can change your behavior right now, uh, while also providing some self-reflection questions that can be good to sit with and make for some useful inner work that can be done over time and maybe give you a new perspective on the situation. And this question seems fitting for that. Uh, inside-outside approach. So first, the outside stuff, uh, stuff you can be doing today that can maybe numb the discomfort of being new to a gym. I wonder if working out at home or maybe in a local park is an option for you. Not only is it a much more common approach to exercising, especially since the pandemic, uh, but it's also a great way to learn the basics in private and get into a rhythm that you like, and of course, improve your fitness along the way. That could be a nice precursor to hitting the gym. And as for not having a workout plan, if you don't want to experiment on your own, luckily there are so many alternatives now. There are endless YouTube fitness channels that don't require you to have any equipment. One that I loved is called HasFit, H-A-S-F-I-T. It's like the, the purest married couple in the world putting out these videos that are for all experience levels, and each one is more positive than the last. It is crazy how nice and helpful these people are, I promise you. Uh, There are also apps that give you workouts as well as instructions on how to perform them. The one I use and love is called FitBod, F-I-T-B-O-D, not our sponsor. However, we do have a new sponsor on Optimal Health Daily for another workout app called FitOn, F-I-T-O-N. So check them out and text the word daily to 64000 to start on that app for free. Anyway, these are steps you can start with to ease your transition into exercise, but like I said, it's also important to consider inner work as well, which can come with a lasting mindset change, but just isn't as quick of a process as that behavioral approach we just talked about. So, if we're thinking about how to reassess this situation from the inside, let's start with taking the spotlight off of yourself. Right now, you're talking about your struggle to enter the gym and you're really putting the lens on yourself. But the people you're worried about being embarrassed in front of, they aren't doing the same. So let's think for a moment about not your gym experience, but the experience others at your gym might be having. First question, would you be the only person in there who's new to exercise or maybe not feeling confident about their body? No. There may be others, including cute girls. And they might even identify with seeing another newcomer and find reassurance in knowing there's someone else who's in a similar position. Second question, do more experienced gym goers go there to make fun of others? No. Obviously it can happen. I won't lie to you about those exceptions. But mainly they are focused not only on their own progress, but also all the other things they have going on in their lives that they need to get back to after exercising. Third question, Did everyone start off at the gym as an expert or in tip-top shape? No. And long-time gym goers often admire seeing someone start the journey and work hard. 
Again, not always, but even if they've forgotten how it feels to be at the beginning, every single one of them has been in your shoes. So, forgive me if those questions sounded snarky. Uh, They were not supposed to be. These types of questions and more can help us reframe the situation. And the truth about this situation and all situations is that we are not as central to the experiences of others as we are to our own experience. Put another way, no one is ever watching us as closely as we think or caring as much about us as we think. And this can be relieving to hear when the context is being embarrassed about being at a new gym, but it can be troubling to hear when the context is that other people are too busy trying to make their own lives work to celebrate too long uh, if you get married or land your dream job or something that means a lot to you. Obviously, certain figures in our lives, like our significant others or our close family members, yes, they'll have more investment. But generally, we're all just working too hard on ourselves to care a lot about what others do poorly or what others do well. And those who do have the time and energy to focus so much on the successes and failures of others, like the people you imagine that would make fun of you at the gym, they often have a lacking sense of self. It's very common. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's not necessarily ideal either. And we've all got traces of this in us. Like for me, it is, it's caring far, far too much about the successes of my favorite hockey player, Alex Ovechkin. I love him, but his accomplishments are really no business of mine. Um, and I probably shouldn't Google him as much as I do. Props to the people listening that know who he is. Um, <laughs> and for you, um, it's showing up in you caring a lot about how others at the gym may perceive you, caring much less than they do. So. The core of this matter really isn't about the gym. It's about getting comfortable with yourself and focusing on you regardless of what others think. Because we'll always step into new anxiety-inducing situations like these. And do all, if not most of us, continue to carry some degree of insecurity in these times? Sure, because fitting in is important to us. But good, long-term self-work for you might include learning to better manage those feelings, doing things that make you uncomfortable anyway and thickening your skin, realizing that you'll excel in some areas of life and they'll be easy to be confident in, and that you struggle in other areas, but that life still goes on after not being good at them. And that would be the case for you right now if you start going to the gym. It could go poorly, you would still move on. The more you experience that, and step into those difficult situations like going to the gym in spite of being nervous, the more comfortable the discomfort becomes, and the more you begin to rely only on the approval of yourself rather than the approval of others. Okay, everyone, and that will bring us to the end. Thanks once again, Asker, for submitting this one. I do hope it helped. And if there are more questions you have about this subject or another one, please feel free to email me with a follow-up. And that goes for everyone out there. If you have a question of your own or a topic you'd like to hear my thoughts on, you can email me at advice at oldpodcast.com. You'll definitely hear back from me and get your own episode if you'd like one. The door is always open. But aside from that, guys, have a happy Saturday if you're listening in real time. And do be sure to come on back tomorrow for another narration. That's where your optimal life awaits.